Hi there, I'm Adrian Salisbury from the Pro Video Academy and in this video I'm going to show you how you can clone a webinar pipeline in Kajabi. Actually I'm telling you a little bit of a porky because you can't clone pipelines inside Kajabi. But I want to show you what I do which is the next best thing. Now I'm going to take you over to my page and demonstrate this but this is based on Kajabi's Zoom webinar pipeline that they created. I don't use Zoom um, but I'm thinking this has got to integrate with Webinar Jam surely and uh, it does and I got on really well with it in November. I found it really easy to use. I've made another video actually showing you how to do the Webinar Jam side of it and how to integrate the two. It should pop up above me or it'll be in the description below but check that one out, Kajabi and Webinar Jam integration. Um, but let's jump into this and let me just show you how to do it. It is going to take you at least an hour to do but we're only doing it every few months and this actually seems to be the easiest, most efficient way to do it. Okay, let's jump in. So I've just done this and I'm just talking you through what I did. So back here, November 2018, uh, I did a webinar titled How to Start Making Great Videos in 2019. So you stand out, attract your ideal clients, grow your business online. Um, now I had one webinar in that one in fairness, but this was my, um, this is all set up using the Zoom pipeline. My registration goes to an email. There's a confirmation page, which is just the default. I haven't changed that. Then there is a webinar page and this is the only place actually where we need to put an external link in that was meant to be to Zoom and we're sending over to Webinar Jam. And as you can see, it's a simple button on a page here. So this is where somebody is going. Uh, all your emails will have said, we're about to go live. Here's the link, come and join us. They go to this page, click on this button and it transports them across to the live page in Webinar Jam. They just get prompted then with a put in your name, put in your email address, enter, and they're in the room. They don't have to go to any of the registration pages. They don't, they're not gonna get any emails sent out from Webinar Jam. We've stripped all that out if you watch that other video. Um, so that is the only bit of integration. Everything else is done inside Kajabi. My replay down here, that's the video that came back to me from Webinar Jam, and I've put it in here. Um, then I have a sales page, my checkout, so how do we clone this and copy it across? I was very happy with it. Other than changing dates, times, and a little bit of copy, and obviously some links around, uh, I'm happy with it and want to do it. But sadly, we can't clone it. There's nothing to do that here. So I started from scratch. The first thing you need to do is to list out these pages. I've list literally just got a pen and paper at the side of me, and I'm going, registration page, um, I need a new form, I need a new email sequence, confirmation page, webinar page, replay, sales page, offer checkout, and then um, that just comes because that's part of the checkout. Okay, so I list those out, and then what I need to do is to go into the pipelines. If I go into through the website and the page builder, and I go into my pipeline pages, I can go into November, and here are my pages and what I need to do is to clone them one at a time. Now that will just give you, in this case, registration page one. So it's cloned it, I need to go back to it and just edit the details and uh, give it a new title. So what I was doing was just changing these over. I think what I've done is just put um, January 2019 as my title. And I've done the same thing. Others have said not to mess around with these links in here. Honestly, it doesn't make any difference because the way this works through is that you're telling it to go to the next pipeline step. It isn't looking at a link. So I can do exactly the same in here. Just make sure that within the URL string there are no spaces. It won't take a space. So you need to either put a dash or just put it all in together. All right, and then save that. And that's me cloned my first page. Go back to my pipeline pages. And uh, as I say, it's a bit of a slow process, but you need to go through and just be ticking them off on your bit of paper. Uh, as you're going down these different pages here, you're gonna create a new one for each. Okay, 
Then we come back into marketing, pipeline, and we're gonna create a new pipeline. As you can see, I've already got one. So for the sake of this, we're just gonna pick a blank one over here, create pipeline. Give a name to your next pipeline. and generate a pipeline. Now we don't even want the blank page, so I'm gonna remove that, add a page. Okay, so we're gonna use an existing landing page. Hit next, go and look for it. And it should be easy because we've called them, so we know the order they're going in, registration page, Jan 2019. Save. Okay, and here we are, it's in our new pipeline. Now the next thing we need to do is create an event. And you can see that I've already put these in here. Um, we're going to create one in here, we're gonna, I mean I've put it in here, this is my Pro Video Academy and the date of it. Um, when does it occur? We're gonna schedule that in. Now if you've only got one, then you just put in the one in here. We've gotta put multiple events in if that's what's going on. Uh, put a time zone in, no it's not repeating, and save it. I don't wanna mess this up. As you can see, I've already got three that are upcoming that I've already saved into this. Then when you've got your event, we go back into the pipeline. And in our new dummy one here, we're gonna change this around. So when the form is submitted, then register to an event. And we're gonna change that around and um, let's just go with this one down here for now. Okay, now when you've created that event, I would recommend having two windows side by side because um, we've got to put the emails in manually. In your new one, this is gonna be blank and it's going to say to you, add an email. And I'm copying these through, doing exactly the same details from one to the next. So I can literally just copy this and paste this across from the previous launch to the new launch. And then I'll end up with a list down here exactly the same. Now, just be careful that the links that you copying across, you need to check that you've got new links. These event ones will work themselves. But when I'm getting down to a day before and um, I wanna put a link in this one to join us, I need to go in and make sure that this is going to my webinar page in Kajabi. You remember the one down here? That was my webinar page. Now I work my way down here and add page. I'm doing exactly the same thing and I'm finding an existing landing page. I'm going off to the ones that I've already saved out and um, you can see how easily we're batching this together and putting this in. Okay, so let me quickly take you through one that I've just set up. Uh, that's this January 2019 launch. And um, what I've got here then is multiple registrations. This is the topic for the next video that I'm going to do on how to create multiple events. But have a look down this, I've got a registration page on here, but because I'm going to three different um, webinars, I've split it out on here, so it's a little bit more complicated. I've then got a confirmation page, again, mine's multiplied out by three of them. Then I've got my webinar page, which was where I've put the link in that takes them over to Webinar Jam, which again is covered in another video. Uh, my replay page is in there, my sales page is in there, and my checkout. Now, what I didn't tell you is I put the checkout in, or I just cloned this, well, I didn't need to clone it across. I used the original offer that I've got for my product, my membership to my academy. And as soon as I put it in there, it's already telling me the revenue of what it's made based on the last launch of it. So I'm starting to create a new offer every time I do a webinar, just purely to keep the numbers going. So you can go into your offer and you can just clone it and make another one and again put, you know, January launch or whatever you want to do to just keep it consistent. Um, and so I've got a new checkout. So that's it, that's my cloned webinar. That's about as easy as it gets. We are cloning the individual pages, but the structure of the pipeline, we've got a copy across. So hopefully that's helped you. That's how I've cloned it across. And uh, when I do my next one in the spring, then I will just do exactly the same and copy it across to a new date. So be sure to check out those other videos as well, showing you how to integrate with Webinar Jam. And if you're interested in doing more than one webinar in your next launch, then check out the other video where I show you 
it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's absolutely doable. So I'll talk you through that one in the other video. But hope you enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in how to make videos like this, well, that's what I teach inside the Pro Video Academy. I'd love to work with you. You'll find the details on my page, adriansalsbury.com. Thanks ever so much. I'll see you in another video.